Hi, my name is Adam Vrimner. Hi, my name is Tim Brown. Hi, my name is Alex Henderson. Hi, my name is Margaret Novak. Hi, my name is Sharon Martin. Hi, my name is Nelly Dadabaiva. Hi, my name is Diane Dadabaiva. Hi, my name is Elijah DeGeorgevic. Hi, my name is Rachel DeGeorgevic. Hi, my name is Ben Gagno. Hi, my name is Victor Antei. Hello, my name is Jivy K. Shamamba. Hello, my name is Jivanel Shamamba. Hi, my name is Dominic Orozco. Hi, my name is Luke Dorman. Hi, my name is Hope Mendler. Hi, my name is Rakshana J. Hi, my name is Rosie J. Hi, my name is Rihanna J. Hi, my name is Jerry Krishna. Hi, my name is Justin J. Hi, my name is Emma Gazzo. Hi, my name is Kira Gazzo. Hi, my name is Christian Zepeda. Hi, my name is Ishinoe Bless Benjamin. Hi, my name is Mason Levac. Hi, my name is Sergio Herrera. Hi, my name is Felicity Leclerc. Hi, my name is Don White. Hi, my name is Ada Enoque. Hi, my name is Kiara McClellan. Hi, my name is Raonia Nyakuzera. So I grew up Catholic, but never took it seriously. I stumbled across these videos called Heaven and Hell Testimonies, and it put the fear of God in me. So I decided that I would dedicate my life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Ever since then, my life has been better ever since. If I had a choice, I would have chose Jesus always. Sometimes you don't get to choose your past, your past choose you. I'm here, Parkwood, ready to be reborn, at the water, in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. By the grace of God the Father, I feel drawn to build a relationship with His Son, Jesus. To me, my baptism is a public omission of that relationship as well as my illustration of my rebirth into a new life with me following Jesus. I decided to get baptized because it was incredibly important for me to make that public declaration as an adult and not an infant. So I came to Parkwood about five years ago. A friend of mine uh, brought me to Alpha and um, I was resistant to some of the things they were teaching there. Then in about 2018, uh, life became very challenging for me. I was facing a lot of changes, a lot of emotional trauma. So I decided to come to Parkwood. Every Sunday I moved to tears and joy. So I've decided to turn my life over to Jesus. So I do not come from a Christian family and I used to live in a lot of darkness before I met Jesus and I would try to find my peace and happiness from the world but it always left me more empty and more broken than before. I decided to just completely surrender before God and acknowledge my wretchedness and my sin before a holy God. All of a sudden when I was on my knees and praying in that exact moment, I felt so much love and peace and joy that I have never experienced before and something that I could never get in the world and that was the day that I gave my life to Jesus. I realized that I am nothing without God and that apart from God I have nothing good in my life. I grew up as Muslim. Uh, my life before I met Jesus was completely not peaceful. I used to feel hopeless. I used to feel discouraged. Everything has changed after I found a poster about love uh, and back then I didn't know that was from Bible and one night I cried out to God uh, to show me his true self. And that was my first time um, seeing Jesus in my dream. Then I, uh, my neighbor took me to, uh, invited me to Parkwood Church. Then I went to Alpha Program. And everything I learned um, from Alpha Program from that on was about Jesus and about God was um, completely different than what I have taught as a child. I should not be afraid of God or be ashamed of God because God is bigger than my fear and bigger than my shame. My message to you today is open your heart to the true love of God because when the love of God is in your heart, no evil can stand against you. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I have accepted Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I want to follow Him forever. I can't wait to see what He has planned for my life next. I was raised both Catholic and Christian. I said the sinner's prayer when I was young, though I didn't quite understand it at the time. When I got older, I was more focused on uh, my work and earning money for my future. Later, the reality of life and losing loved ones caused fear to creep into my heart. When my Aunt Kim was sick and dying, I was amazed by the fact that she had perfect peace about it and she knew Christ and knew where she was going. I wanted to have that peace when my time came. That is why I'm taking this step to uh, be publicly baptized and let the world know that I accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I have decided to recommit myself to God to help me live and walk in Christ Jesus. 
I started to go to church when I was four years old. I didn't understand what being a Christian meant. I thought I meant going to church, dressing up nice, and if I did something wrong, I would not be forgiven. But as I grew older, I've learned that our God is a forgiving God. My relationship with God grew within the years of going to church. I've learned to trust Jesus with my life if not to worry because God has good plans for the future. In 2020, I started to take my faith seriously. And when I started to read the Bible, I realized that Jesus will always have my back and will always be there to protect me. And when I started to go to JGM, God surrounded me with people who are very passionate about their faith. And I realized that God has done so many amazing things in my life and has blessed me with an amazing family. I want to follow Jesus' example and that when he died for me, he washed away all my sins, so I'm a new person again. I was raised in a Christian home. Uh, I've known Christ almost my whole life. Since I've been older, uh, I have realized that I feel God's presence more and more, and I want to dedicate my life to Him, and I want to get baptized and in obedience to Him. Last year, when I was 12, I had a conversation with my mom where I told her that I didn't think I needed to be saved because, you know, I didn't think that I did anything that bad or that I was a pretty good kid. Um, my mom had prayed for me that I would have uh, like a realization of how much I needed uh, Jesus as my Lord and Savior, and um, I realized. <laughs> Uh, the Holy Spirit showed me that um, all of my sins, big or small, needed to be forgiven. I grew up in a Christian household and recognize that Jesus has been with me throughout my whole life. I want to get baptized out of obedience of what He says in the Bible. I'm ready to publicly declare that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. I've grown up in a Christian home and Jesus has always been in my life. Through the good and bad moments, He's helped me through it all and He's made me the better person that I am here today. So I'm here to publicly declare that I have accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I always had Jesus with me and I have decided to get baptized because I want to walk with Jesus throughout the rest of my life. Growing up in a Christian family, I've known Jesus my whole life. He filled my life with love and He was there when I needed Him. Knowing that I'm about to fully accept Him into my life, I feel happy and proud. I'm ready to take the next step in following Jesus, our Lord and Savior. I've decided to get baptized today because I've always had Jesus in my life and I want to publicly declare my faith in Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, and encourage other people to get baptized. And also I want to let people know that it's never too late to get baptized no matter what age you are. When I was growing up, I never had a strong father figure present in my life, but um, God has shown me how much he has provided, protected, and loved me. And I want to um, live my life for the Lord and, and spread his word. I grew up in a Christian household my whole entire life, but I had like some past like traumas from my childhood and then just problems in general with like making uh, good relationships outside of my family. And so it really affected my mental health. So I started going out and trying to find other ways to like fill like the void in my life and make me happy, but that never helped. And so it just spiraled out of control until like one day I just like decided to give it to all to Jesus and then Instantly, I just just like felt this like peace ever since. After a while, I haven't been going to church as as much as I wanted to, and I started to go a lot. Um, after that, I just kept praying and praying, and then something just I just felt someone was hearing me, and then I decided to tell my parents if I wanted to get baptized. My message to you is: Jesus gives the toughest challenges to the toughest soldiers. Nothing is impossible if you set your mind to it. Between October and November of last year, I was very sick. Uh, I didn't eat well. I couldn't sleep well as well. It was very painful, but my mom and I play, uh, prayed every step of the way. And about a week later, I was able to go back to school. That showed me that God can do great things, even in the lowest times. And that's why I've decided to follow Jesus. I grew up following Jesus and going to church every Sunday and now I want to grow closer to God by getting baptized and growing closer to God. Uh, I decided to follow Jesus after I graduated high school. Uh, I knew of Jesus because I grew up in the church. My family is very faithful to Christ and I learned from my family but from coming uh, to Parkwood I started learning more about him and uh, after I turned 21 I started thinking about you know getting baptized but I wanted to know if it was really my decision or it was how I was feeling. So, you know, I, uh, I started to ask people and started to pray and then felt time, you know, to be baptized, you know, hopefully I grow my faith and uh, learn more about him. I'm getting baptized today because I believe that this is the next step in my life to further my relationship with God. And I believe it's where God wants me to be right now. Today I have accepted Jesus as my savior. I've lived a life of sin without faith. By the grace of God, I am a new creation. 
I wish to move forward with Christian values, keeping Jesus in my heart, walking a path of righteousness with the Lord by my side. I was raised in a Christian family and now I want to take the next step in my faith and in my obedience to Jesus Christ by getting baptized. Um, I was introduced to Parkwood by my significant other, which was really, really nice. I was really happy to be brought into the Parkwood family and immediately brought in and welcomed, and that's all I could thank for. I find that there's like this wholeness, like if you will, and something that is so whole and just genuine. It's everything that you would want to be welcomed into. It's a home. I can't, I can't even explain the, the feeling that it gets you inside when you know that you belong to something. I have decided to follow Jesus because he's always been there for me through my hard times. Last year I actually had depression and I feel like if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be uh, alive right now. I'm ready to sacrifice everything and to live a meaningful life with Jesus Christ and to show and to teach others and to show him how kind he is. I have decided to follow Jesus. 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 I've decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus. I have 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 decided to follow Jesus. I decided to follow Jesus. I have 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 decided to follow Jesus. I decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus. I decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus.